What's up folks, this is Norm from the Board Game Museum, and uh, this is another video I'm going to be doing on vintage board games that I am planning to review or considering to review. I found a whole bunch of other ones, so just kind of wanted to show you what I got here. Alright, this is a game called Extinction Game of Ecology. Now, I had done a review of this game a long time ago, but it got lost somewhere. Uh, but this is a really good game. Um, this is a game that was made from a, not really from a publisher, but from a professor, but... Good game. I would definitely like to try to review this one. I'm not sure if I review this one. This is the Game of Life Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a take on the game Life with the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean theme on there. It's a fairly simple version. It's I think it's a little more advanced than SpongeBob SquarePants Life, but I'm going to check this out, I think. All right, here's one I found called Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo 3D Action Game. Now, you know I love 3D games. I think this is missing a couple of parts, so I'll have to go ahead and get them, but it's one I want to try to do. Alright, here we got a game called Lingo. This is from the Jax Corporation. Um, this game, I think, came out in the early 2000s, uh, but it's a unique game, so I'm going to try to do this one. I might do this one. This is a Sequence States and Capitals. It plays pretty much like Sequence, only it just uses the States and Capitals, but I might check it out. Okay, so I got two Powerpuff Girls games. Uh, we got a uh, Powerpuff Girls card game, which is actually pretty good, and the Powerpuff Girls board game, uh, which is a fairly simple game, but I might take a look at these. All right, so I got two card games here. I got one called Arkansas Bluff, and then I have a 3M bookshelf game, or game called Venture. Now, this is a Sid Saxon game. Fantastic game. I love this game, and I love Sid Saxon, Saxon games anyway. Um, Arkansas Bluff is a take on Liar's Dice, only you're going to be uh, using vintage cars as the theme. All right, here is Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Now, this is going to probably be the shortest review that I ever do on a video, just because the game really is just about knocking somebody's block off with a little uh, uh, contraption. So, all right, here's a game I found called Crazy Chicken. I'm going to have to get the uh, chicken, a chicken at some point, but... If you've ever played the game Battle Dome, it kind of plays like that. You have like these balls coming towards you. You've got these pinball-like flippers, and you're trying to defend um, your goal from getting any balls in there that are going to be shot by this chicken. They're just going to be going all over the place. So it looks fun. Here's another one I found called Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur. This one kind of reminds me of Tornado Rex in a way. I'll just show you the back of it. It has this dinosaur that you wind up, and it just goes all over the place. The thing is, the dinosaur that I have doesn't really work that well, so I'm going to have to get another dinosaur. But, uh, yeah, definitely one i like to check out. This one's from Pressman from 1987. Okay, here's one that I can do. This is Jumping Monkeys. Uh, this is a pretty fun little game. It's uh, You're basically launching these little monkeys into this tree, and uh, you're just basically, I think, just trying to score points doing that. It's pretty unique. All right. This is the big kahuna of the ones that I want to do, and this is Space Crusade. Um, now, I ended up getting this for a really good deal online. I think, I'm not sure how much it goes for now, but if you've ever played Hero Quest, this is the sister of Hero Quest. It's made for Milton Bradley, and it was only, uh, I think, released in the United Kingdom. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely wanting to do this one for sure. Okay. So, I have two Risk games that I found. Um, I think these are from the early 2000s. It's Risk Transformers. Um, and it has a back here like this. And this plays like Risk, but different. And then I have one from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Um, that looks like this on the back. So I'm going to probably review those, see how those look. All right, this was a heck of a find right here. Uh, Ready, Set, Spaghetti. Um, this is a game my friend Matt, I found this out about this game. This is a Milton Bradley game. It's for kids, but it's a unique game. You're basically trying to twirl yarn. Uh, with these forks um, in this spaghetti bowl and you're trying to be the first one to get all the yarn out. So I played it. It's pretty cool. All right, so this is one of the masterminds I didn't show in the original video, but here it is. This is Mastermind 44. And this is a four-player version of the Mastermind game. I think this is the way it goes. But the back of the box kind of looks like this. You can tell it's played with four players. So I'm kind of curious how this would work with four players. And finally, we have a game called Mugshots, and this is from the Kadako Corporation. Um, anyway, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to recreate a face using these different slides. They're going to have 
heads and hair and ears and mouths and nose and stuff like that. And you're going to try to recreate the slide that you see using what you have. And it's a pretty little interesting little game. It's a million faces. I could definitely see that. Um, and I guess lastly, maybe might do Simon Flash. I found the, I, I have a copy of this game already, but I didn't have this part. So uh, I might check this out too. Anyway, guys, that's my list of games I'm looking to review. So I got quite a lot. So anyway, we'll see you next time.